Hello, my name is Pastor Philip, and today we're going to be talking about life. You know, I talk to and encourage a lot of young people who think um, they can do without God. You know, when you talk to most of the young people, they will tell you, I have my life to live. I can do anything, anyhow, because it is my life. But my brothers and sisters, to tell you the truth, the life that you boasting about, it is not yours. It does not belong to you. It belongs to God. We should always give God the glory for giving us this life. You see, you don't know where you came from and you don't know where you're going. You find yourself on earth and with a twinkling of an eye, you don't know where you're going to be. So this life that you live, always thank God for the life and give God the glory. Because anytime, anything can happen to you. You know, it's, it's like, um, uh, uh, let's say, a goldsmith or a carpenter. He fixed a chair, he built a chair, or fixed a chair. The chair that he fixed was used, or is, is going to be used for the purpose. That is, he fixed this chair for him to sit on the chair. That is the purpose of the chair, is for him to sit on the chair, to make him more comfortable. You see, everything was created, or everything was made for a purpose. You and I was made for the purpose of God. We were made to glorify God. Our life was created to glorify God. The Bible says in the book of Genesis, when God created man out of the dust, out of the dirt, and he breathed into man his spirit. He took his own breath and he put it into man. And the Bible says, and man became a living soul. Man was created in the image of God after his likeness. So you see how special man is. We are created in the image of God. So he gave us this life. Not to live the life anyhow. You know, people post a lot of nude pictures of themselves on Facebook. When you ask them, look, I have my own right to live. I have my, I have, I have the right to express myself. I have to do right to do whatever I want to do. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, you don't have that right. You may think, yes, yeah, you can do it, but you don't have that right. You cannot create your life. You fall out and die. You cannot resurrect your life because you never created it in the first place. Always give God your life. Because he is the author of life. He is the finisher of life. He controls everything. So you can't control anything for yourself. Just give him your life. So when we say give God your life, you're giving it back to him. The reason why we give him the life back because the life belongs to him. The life was within his hand. So when Adam and Eve sinned against God, that life was taken away. Satan came and corrupted us. Took that life. And this is why Jesus came to bridge that gap, that widening gap between man and God. So Jesus came to close the gap. So when we give our life to Christ, is we give him back our life to God, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. So don't just live anyhow, brothers and sisters. Don't just go out and say, I'm living my life. Don't just go out and say, I can do whatever I want to do. You can. Even though you physically you're doing it, but you are doing it against yourself. You are doing it against yourself. Because he knows more about you. He knows more about me. 
we go through a lot of problems we go through a lot of situations because we do not want to take time to understand what we are going through we don't want to understand that and that's the fact we f we refuse to look in the mirror to look at ourselves because when we see ourselves in the mirror we see a lot of things that we don't want and our mirror is the Bible it's the Word of God you know whenever we read the Word of God we see things that expose ourselves we see things that expose our sinful ways and this is why people don't want to read the Bible people don't want to pray because they are afraid of, them, of themselves we don't want to face reality we always want to brush things on the side see people trying to find a way of escape from God atheism they say there is no God trying to find a way to escape they go into different different religion different different things and God Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no one goes to the Father except through me no one ever in this world ever makes such a claim but Jesus Christ so brothers and sisters watching this thing on Facebook on YouTube whatever means you are watching this I just wanted to say this Christmas is a celebration time it's a time that God gives his gift to you that you may be free no matter what the situation you may be going through no matter the financial difficulties you are faced with right now no matter what sickness or diseases may be affecting you that life belongs to Jesus Christ I can do it but Jesus can do it try and give your life to him ask him to come into your life accept him as your Lord and Savior and you will see the wonder the wonders of God. May God bless you. This is Pastor Phil saying goodbye and have a merry, merry Christmas and a prosperous and happy new year. Thank you.